Good Saturday morning. Up next is the Tower Hobby Shangri-La Mustang. Got a little bit of winds, maybe seven, seven so miles an hour. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but it's beautiful, beautiful day. It's in the 60s. <laughs> I took a long time to get around to the sticks there. Just watching it. Maybe a might have had the motor, motor a little lower than what I normally do for hand toss. Not sure what rates I've got it on here. I don't even know. This might be my seventh flight of the day. First flight for the Mustang. These are Pearl, Pearl Harbor in the Battle of Midway. I don't know if Mustangs were used in a, against the Japanese much. Of course, between the Hellcat and Corsair. Exactly a very good roll. <laughs> Not exactly where I wanted it to go. I don't know why I'm flying so fast. Because of the wind. Time remaining six minutes. A little show pass. Of course, it's past us. So we can do that loop again. Much better. Wow. I always pretend I got off boundaries behind me. So when I go to back to the flying at the club at the beach, I don't hear from my buddy Phil. He, he's the safety, at least he was a safety officer in the spring, and I'm sure he still is. Nobody takes that job more serious than Phil, which is good. Time remaining, five minutes. But you got those that respect, respect the safety officers in the club, and then those that <laughs> treat them like Barney Five. I treat him with respect, you know, like I would anybody. Wouldn't matter if there's just two or three of us flying here when we fly together. I try to show respect. Oh boy, I need some water. Crack, it's gonna take a water break. Just two cups of water. Need some water. Pretty far away, sorry about that. I've been flying off camera most of the morning. Time remaining, four minutes. The winds are gusty, pretty good. Coming from the east, east now, kind of off my left shoulder, which is good. When it's out of the southeast, it's perfect for sailing. I was going to bring the sailboat, and it's was like, meh. It's supposed to get up in the 60s today. I think it's got to be in the 60s right now. At least it feels like I, I'm in a t-shirt. I put on some sunscreen. my 
lightweight breathable pants, summer pants. Because I can, that's why. Time remaining, three minutes. I don't know. I move well my CG. I I need to mark where the perfect CG is. I never mark it and then I didn't I don't think I flew this last yeah I guess I flew this last weekend. I don't know. This is a hard plane to leave at home. It does well in the wind. Yeah, because it was breezy last Saturday. It was real windy last Sunday. I got the wind Bigfoot video and the winds, you haven't seen that, you need to see that. That's That was some fun landing there. I wanted to bring Bigfoot again, but I figured 78th anniversary of the Pearl Harbor attack, I figured we'd be a war bird Saturday. Except for my stuff with landing gear. I just didn't feel like, eh. Time remaining, two minutes. Tower Hobbies, Shangri-La P51. It was on, they had it on a Black Friday special, 109 plus an $8 coupon. But they're nice planes, man. They're very nice. In fact, when the Hellcat comes back in stock, I'm probably gonna, well, no, I can't, I bet. I need a plane that I can try to fly off that pond up there. Bound and determined to try a float plane. Time remaining, one minute. And I've got floats for other planes, but before I knew about this place, I never had a place that I could fly off water. Time to stop. So I never, you know, I used the parts for other planes and stuff. And There you go. Tower Hobbies. Motor off. P-51B. Shangri-La. Mustang in all its glory. Some say the Spitfire was the perfect plane in WW2. But I beg to differ. I think it was the P-51 Mustang. Woohoo! <laughs> and that is mostly because I enjoy doing it because I feel pretty pumped and say, doing something a little exciting because I'm not a very exciting guy but then, then at work they just razz the crap out of me about that and I love it so 